just that G just needs to be a little bit higher as well. Okay. So let's go from thirty three. Thank you. Yet ever so, I'll do what lies in me. Inabol is recognised as one of the most important Irish women composers of the early 20th century. I'm speaking to you from the Wigmore Hall on a, a very important day because today we are making the first recording devoted to her songs, many of which have never been performed and Ina will never have heard them. This is also the 60th anniversary of when music by Ina was performed here in 1960 by the very great mezzo-soprano Janet Baker. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Let's go from the top once more, shall we? It was a fantastic experience, intense, you know, to, to record all these pieces for the first time. And um, I only came across, I have to admit, Ina Boyle's uh, work when I was approached by Katie Rowan to do this project, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. It's just such absolutely gorgeous songs, and to perform them here on Wigmore, you know, on the Wigmore stage for the first time. I think it's, it's, uh, it's a huge honour and hopefully it leaves a very nice testament to, to Ina's work. I'm tired of the walking and going the road Tis myself does be ever to carry the load There's never a trouble or sorrow to be But falls right and heavy just down upon me And there is himself going gay as a lark From Sunday to Sunday you'd imagine to hear him a going along in the gold of the world with his love and his song himself and his fiddle we go to Kilchimbach and when we get there round himself will be gathered the fun of the fair shall the fathers with cattle just lead them to stray whenever the fiddle is started to play the children come running and every old clown calls out the girl it is come to the town. Shit is little he earns but a shilling or two. But for me, whatever would old Paddy do? Himself and his fiddle. I mean, one of the reasons behind the selection we've made is Obviously, we want to give a portrait of Ina and her musical language and her styles, different aspects of her personality. There's a lot of contemplative music, quite a lot of religious music, but also some faster moving songs and some livelier pieces. Um, but what's also interesting is how many women poets she said. And I've tried to give a span of different literary backgrounds so that you've got some uh, medieval English texts. So you've got uh, Eva Gore Booth in there, Edith Sitwell, Francis Cornford, and a lot of the um, poems she sets are looking at life from a woman's perspective, even if a woman hasn't 
are written, the, the poems. So we've tried to uh, give a varied spectrum to give a rounded portrait of Ina in song, really. We actually typeset 21 of the 30 scores um, of the pieces performed today. So we went into Trinity, photographed the original manuscripts, so that would have been in Ina Boyle's original handwriting, many of which um, were, were premier works here today, actually. Um, so we, we went into Trinity, photographed these scores, and then we created uh, typeset critical editions of these scores. So they were originally in pencil markings, largely untouched, um, very difficult to read. So we had some task in trying to typeset this music into what became fully realized performances today. There was a retrospective uh, a couple of years ago at National Concert Hall, and they played um, the Glen Cree Symphony, I think on the opening night of that festival. And I was in the hall rehearsing for a concert the next day when I was singing more uh, pieces by Ina Boyle, some settings with a string quartet. And I have to say the orchestra even in commented, some friends of mine in the orchestra even commented how much they enjoyed playing this symphony that none of them had known. Uh, and comparing it to the other Irish music very favorably that there was going to be played in that next month. So it was a big discovery for a lot of people when, um, when, when Ina started to be performed again. And huge thanks to Katie, who has, this is a passion project for her, and she has pushed this all over the world. And it's an incredible achievement that she's managed to get so many performances, and now this song recording. Ina's music is now being performed worldwide. And everyone is beginning to know her reputation. And it's, we have performances in London, we have performances in Ireland, we've had performances in the States of the continent, and this is very exciting. And we are developing our work to, to actually work for neglected discovering not just Ina, but other neglected Irish composers, particularly women, whose work deserves to be heard more widely.
to be. 